So this used to be something I would tell people, oh man, you know, closing in an electrical enclosure with sheet metal is tough. You got to use like closed welded corners. You got to modify the geometry so it's actually fully enclosed. But there's a trick that I've been doing with these or things like this that I just absolutely love and I want to show you. And to do this, I'm just going to create a new in context part. And a lot of times this is what I'll do to create custom lids. I'll just come up here to insert components and say new part. First thing it's going to ask you for is a plane to attach it to and I'm just going to grab the front plane or you could grab the outside face of the enclosure or whatever you want. But the key here is you're going to create a box and you're basically going to pick, you know, somewhere out here, the outside so that you're way outside uh, those lids. You don't want to overlap your lids. And I'm going to create a box that is at least enclosing my interior volume. Extrude that out. And for this one, we'll come all the way out to here. And you can make it a little bit bigger if you need to. But basically, that right there is the volume that I don't want the air flow to leave. In other words, I'm going to seal all leaks that are inside that volume. And to do that, I'll just shell, and I'm going to shell outward. And what it does is an outward shell just creates a wrapped box. So basically, just wrap this thing in a box around the interior volume. Now, does this exist in real life? No. No, it doesn't. But in real life, I'm not going to be concerned about that, because in real life, these are all going to be filled with wires. These corners are all going to be welded. Or even if there is a leak in real life, it's not going to be a consequential uh, piece of this study. Because I'm looking at free convection on this transformer generating heat and rating it up, up to these uh, contactors in the circuit board. If I was to now look to see whether or not I've, I've got it airtight, I know I do. Because I literally just created the dumbest, simplest block ever. Let's test the theory real quick, though. So I'm going to suppress this, and that's just that box. I, it, it's already hidden, so it doesn't do anything, but I'm going to suppress it and say, check geometry. And I'm going to say it's an internal study. If you have a study already created, there'll be a checkbox in here that says exclude uh, volumes with no flow conditions. Uh, that would allow you to get a false negative. So be real careful about enabling that option. Uh, but I don't have a study created yet, so that doesn't show. I'll click the check button. It goes through and it merges all those bodies. This is going slower because I have all these connectors and all this other stuff in here. But it did tell me, hey, this is not a watertight model. So it failed, conclusively failed. It does say it's a zero fluid volume and the analysis is internal. Now, sometimes this will succeed but then your fluid volume is really small. When that happens, that's a false positive. It did not succeed. What it did is it found something, but not what you want. So let's redo the check geometry with that part uh, unsuppressed. Internal study, check it. Now all the leaks are gonna be completely sealed, right, inside that sort of that shell. It's successful and as a non-zero fluid volume. Now I highly recommend using units that are intuitive to you so you understand what that is. Five, 0.006 cubic meters is probably about right for this, but if you're not quite sure, show fluid volume. See this button right there, show fluid volume, and it highlights the volume that is fully enclosed. Notice you can see the resolution of the, the lids, that's good, that means I didn't uh, you know, cover up the lids with that block that I created, because that's definitely a concern. Uh, but you can use that on almost any generally regular shape. All you're doing is just saying, look, I don't care about the little slots. Just close the thing up. There is another easy button for these kinds of scenarios. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but we're ready to roll. We've now simplified up to the point of our, you know, patience. <laughs> we're, we're, we're done uh, doing that. We're, we're not really interested in spending more time cleaning that up because you can spend all day cleaning up geometry.